So first, why did you choose to call this album Roses? Because I think the, I think what, uh, one of the most beautiful songs on the album is Roses, and it was uh, the last song written, and it was written spontaneously in about uh, twenty minutes, not even mm -hmm. ten, five, <laughs> five minutes. It was one of those ones, five. and it kind of summed up the um, the whole album in a nice way. And I thought it was a nice song to finish with, and we all thought it was a nice title then. Mm -hmm. And so you recorded 15 songs for the album and only 11 are on the album. Mm -hmm. What is going to happen with the four of them? There'll be like free downloads or, you know, just because we want everyone to hear the songs. So just to have, because 15 is maybe too, too much for an album. It's too long. So it's nice to have some spare tracks to give to fans as gifts. And so 11 years have passed since the, the previous album. When you st started writing this new album, did you feel the pressure of the comeback? Like what people are going to expect from us? Or did you feel like we are the cranberry, so we're going to do what we do and we'll see what happens? Yeah, I think it was a bit more like that. Um, even though it's been that long since the last album, um, like some of these songs go back to 2003 when we, we had played around with the idea of starting another album then and we'd recorded some of the stuff. So we kind of dug those songs out again because they were really strong songs. And then over the last few years, long before the reunion even, Dolores and I had started sending each other ideas for tracks. So some of the songs are even like six years, five years old. So by the time we went in to record, um, you know, we, we had a collection of songs that were really over a, a 10 year period. And um, we felt that they were strong enough for an album. And we always do, you know, an album that we like, that we want to, you know, if we weren't in the band, I want to buy that album. And then if other people like it, that's the bonus, you know. You can't really try and do it for other people because it's not really, you're not being true to it then. Okay, and you've never considered to not take the old songs from uh, 2003 and to do only new songs and write new stuff? Well, they're kind well, of they are because we, yeah. we reworked them, you yeah, know. We, we had to re-record them. them, they were the demos, really, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I <clears throat> I think, uh, I don't know about you, but I listened to those songs a few times over the years, we weren't together, and they sounded great, you mm. know, they, they were strong songs to begin with, and I think the fact that 10 years later they still sound good, you know, is a good sign for the song. If, they, if we played them, you know, when we were doing this album, and they kind of sounded dated or weak, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have redone them. And you chose uh, Show Me The Way for the first song on, on the website. What is this one? I don't know. It yeah. just kind of happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Did we choose that? I think it was a record company. Record company. Oh. Yeah. 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 We don't really, we don't yeah. really get involved. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we're getting the heads up over there. We don't really get involved with all that. I mean, honestly, I think that we've been making so many albums for so many years that we just really, I mean, the, the part that we really love is making the music, really. Performing live or creating an album is brilliant. And the rest of it then is, is um, you know, um, as far as actually the the track listing and all, I think Stephen did most of that, didn't yeah. he, Stephen Street? Yeah. Because yeah. that's, he's 14, he's really into that. But I think our our thing is just to create the music, really, you know. And um, um, when it comes to choosing singles and all that, you know, we can't really because we wouldn't be very um, objective, really. Yeah. Because we'd like all Too the close to it, maybe, yeah. Yeah. And uh, you already played uh, Astral uh, Projections on tour in 2003. So, uh, what would you choose to use this one again that people already knew? You already told it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like, like saying, it's, yeah. But it was the one that no, it was the one that Noel was saying that we done a few tracks before we finished mm -hmm. up there a few years ago. And I mean, as Noel said, it, this still sounded so well. And it was the one that we were mo most familiar with that we decided to uh, put it in live as well to kind of have something new in there as well, you know, to give the fans. So. Okay. And you always had the, the power to speak about dark songs, dark things, and uh, dramatic stuff on your lyrics, but always with a bright melody on the songs. Do you think there's some things that's coming up with uh, Irish music too? Because Irish people all in their music always talk about sad things, but with energy and powerful. Yeah, um, well, I mean, I think, you know, um, it's easier to write when you're going to a challenging point in your life, you know, when you're climbing up a hill, and um, 
I think when you're very at the top of the hill and you're very everything's all going according to plan and everything's fine and hunky dory or whatever, it's difficult to write. <coughs> so I think that you know a lot of artists are write better when they're actually going through a challenging time in their lives. You choose to, so to, to work with Stephen Street once again. Do you consider him as a fifth member of the band? Yeah, I think. In a way? When they're in the studio, definitely. Yeah. He just really manages to capture, like what you said, that, that darkness is there. It's kind of an underlying thing. But it's not, it's not a sad thing or anything. It's just, it's a real thing, you know, and it's, it's people, other people we've worked with haven't really noticed that or something, and they try and make us into a rock band or a pop band or something, where Stephen just gets us and kind of makes it sound captures the feeling almost, the space. So how did you think about getting the, the cranberries back together? Did you think everybody else is doing it? So why can't we? Dad, I don't know. <laughs> no, it was, um, it was really like through a bunch of, we, we met Dolores, uh, was doing a thing in Trinity College in Dublin back in early 2009. And we kind of played together for the first time acoustically. And it felt like we'd never taken any time off. And then, um, I guess a few months later, again, it was um, Taylor Dolores' eldest, it was his confirmation. The four of us were there with all our families and kids and, you know, having a few drinks and we got talking and, um, you know, it's just, everybody was, we were enjoying our, you know, each other's company. And so I, I think stuff like that kind of sparked it, you know, and um, before we knew it, you know, that later, a couple of months later, we were rehearsing again and, it, you know, it just felt like a natural progression for us. You know, we'd always kind of, I think when we finished in 2003, it was just that we'd had enough of it at that point. Um, you know, I think we all kind of thought in the backs of our minds, someday again, we would, we would do this, come back and visit <coughs> this. But it, that was not the time back in 2003 to do another album and another tour. You know, um, it just needed to be right for everybody. And that just happened to be the time in 2009. And two years ago on your tour, you used to play how in first in the set. Are you gonna go in this way for the next tour to play most old songs and the new one from Roses? The mix. It, it varies. It, it, the set list isn't the same every night. So sometimes we say, "Oh, we haven't played that for a long time," and then we would stick that song in. Because if you're playing the same songs every night, it suddenly becomes like a, a wheel, and it's boring. It's like, okay, this is next, and it becomes through the motions. So we have to switch songs and through, throw different songs in to make it fresh and exciting and for the audience because some of our fans come to like 10 shows in a row so they don't want to see the same songs every night they want to see different songs and to vary it a bit and isn't, isn't it too difficult when you've got six albums like you to choose the songs every time makes it easier more cho more choice and more fun for us so how do you how do you make songs in the band is that one coming with a melody and then you everybody jam on it or do you all jump together in the studio? It, it varied. This album was a bit different um, in that uh, with, with technology, you know, has helped us really. Like the old way would have been um, Otto Dolores and myself would get like a, a sequence, a chord sequence and come in and we kind of jam at rehearsal or at sound checks and stuff and try and figure it out that way. But now, um, you know, with the stuff like Pro Tools and, and that you can do a lot at home. So we were kind of doing it that way where you can kind of, your your idea, the, your, the bigger picture of the song, you can kind of develop it a little bit more and then we bring it in and kind of develop it as a band then. But it's easier to explain to people, here's a rough of what I think, you know, this song should be. And I think it kind of helped with, with this album and made it sound a little bit different because of that. Mm. You know, we were able to introduce other things that just weren't possible 10 years ago to do. Um, and it kind of, it made it fresh for us as well, I think. And the Rose voice is so unique. When you write songs, do you imagine how she's going to sing? Or are you still surprised when you introduce oh, the songs? surprised, yeah. yeah. That's the kind of, the best part of when you have a kind of a bed to work with. And then, you know, you're kind of sitting there, you, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you wait for it to come back, like it could be a week, a month, two months, you know, and then I, I get a, an email with, with something on it and, yeah, it you know, it, it, 
it's kind of the whole point of it, you know, um, that it's kind of one of the reasons you do it, because you go, that, I think that'll work, that'll suit, you know, and and some things don't, not everything does, you know, obviously, you know, um, but uh, it's it's been like that from where, since we began, so it's, it just seems to work, the chemistry together. Yeah. So the band is now 23 years old. What for you the, the main changes in the music industry for you could see in your career? Downloading and stuff like yeah. that, I think. You know, younger yeah. kids don't really understand that if you download for free, then the younger artists coming up won't have any money to, to begin. They can't get that, that step up. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's, it's quite different. From when we started it's dysfunctional really now mm -hmm. on a lot of levels it's very dysfunctional in industry but i mean then and all the same industry invented the technology yeah and that's their problem now you know so it's kind of but it's the way it is i mean you know um you can't really do anything about it you just have to kind of accept certain things really and just get on with life mm -hmm. and uh, you always talked about the, the problem in ireland in the in the 90s uh, when you see the, the rugby team of Ireland now mixing both of them, North Ireland and South Ireland, in the same team in rugby, do you feel this like a hope for the country? Yeah, Maybe I mean, getting it's a, an awful lot better than it was 10 or 15 years yeah. ago. I mean, there's much more of a community now. It's a lot healthier. And the story says that when the, the band first met Dolores, you, you left because of the slicky punk wet suit she was wearing at the moment. Is the legend true or just no. internet? <laughs> no, 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 no. Once again? What's What's that? That? <laughs> what is it? Some, some sleeky wetsuit you were wearing? I've never heard that in my life. A, pi a pink one, yeah. That was no. fur that was wearing that. I was wearing that. Fur <laughs> <laughs> was wearing a skin tight um, spandex. That's Ren Keeney. I've never heard that one actually. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so that's what you can see on channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I can we'll see you in the next tour. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to come out. <laughs> 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 According to you, what would be the best place to listen to and appreciate roses? Um, I, I think that is a. Uh, I think you can kind of listen to it anywhere. Like, mm. where do you guys listen to it? I haven't listened to the whole thing actually. I've myself. been playing it a lot the past few weeks, just kind of in the kitchen turned up while I'm preparing food and just trying to listen to it objectively rather than focusing in and going, okay, exactly. what can we do here? That's you know, just on in the background and kind of going, you know, if I wasn't in this band, I'd really like this album, you know? So I think we've, it's been almost a year since we recorded it, so a nice bit of time has passed where you can listen to it objectively and go, yeah, I like that. Okay. Your music has often been used in uh, movies. If you could choose one movie in the entire history of movies to do the soundtrack by yourselves, <laughs> which one would you choose? If we could choose a movie to watch, to do the soundtrack of it. Mm. Of every movie ever made. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's really hard. That's unbelievable. <coughs> Pass. Okay. Yeah, that's too hard. I, I don't know that movie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and, and for the end, uh, the single dreams will have twenty years this year. Yes. What are your dreams for the next twenty years? To be healthy. To yeah. Be yeah, health is the most content. important one, really. I suppose that our children would be healthy and that, you know, our families and, you know. Like, health is important and um, mm. to be satisfied, fulfilled, you know. Okay, thank you. So, for the end, we're going to ask you two drops as a camera. <coughs> the first one would be for we love music fr. Like, high, high where the crime raised we love. Yeah, exactly. We love music and fr. We love music fr. Do you have Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay. Hi, we're the Cranberries and we love music.fr. Do it again. Okay. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's okay. okay. And the second one is waxmusic.com. Wax music. Or just wax, wax no. music. Just, just wax music. music. Who, me? Yeah. You're listening to or watching? Watching. Yeah. Watching. <coughs> Hi, we're the Cranberries, and you're watching waxmusic.fr.com. Just wax music. Just wax music. Oh, wax music. Wax okay. music. Hi, we're the Cranberries, and you're watching wax music. Perfect. Thank you very much.
one more, I think. Just one more now. Yeah. I just need to run over and down. Call my mum. <laughs> 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 You're setting up anyway, Doris, so yeah. We've got two minutes on.